Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. Yeah, let's see what's coming out here. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles with this overall energy at the bottom of the deck here. What I'm really sensing right now is that some of you, you need to be a bit more selfish. You need to hold back, okay? Um, there, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. You're needing to hold back and protect yourself because I think that by giving and receiving to the wrong people is going to cause a tower moment in your life. So you need to be mindful of that here. You have a lot of golden opportunities that are being presented to you. And you have people right now, like I said, who are very, very passionate or they're coming at you in a very passionate way right now uh, because they want to be a part of this, this new energy. They want to be in the flow with you. All right. Um, because I, I feel like for some of you, um, even my energy right now, just sitting here getting into the reading, I, I can feel myself even talking faster than I normally talk. I think you guys are just becoming very passionate about something new in your life. The King of Wands and the Temperance card here, there could be a Sagittarius here, or this is just like that Temperance Angel. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah, I feel like there is something that you guys are doing that's bringing in a lot of abundance. Like, you're very charismatic, you're passionate. Maybe you're, you know, of course, being very motivated right now to start something new. But in starting something new here, there is something where you're needing to block it out. Some of you guys have definitely been giving, like I said, or over giving, over compensating to individuals. And I feel that now with this tower, this is some type of shocking revelation that you're having. This could be something that you've been doing since a child with the sun being here. With the sun and the tower here together and the temperance, these are three majors here in the center of this reading. And we have the wheel and the tower. So this is a major, major energetic shift that you are stepping into right now. And you're trying to transmute things. This is, you know, you, you shape shifting you're, you're going from one one plane one dimension one realm to another some of you guys you have spiritual or psychic gifts that are developing or they're strengthening okay and i feel like this is for sure it's making you very very passionate about whatever it is that you have coming into your life you may not know exactly what it is but you are moving in a good direction here however there is some type of offer an opportunity or proposal that i do feel you're going to have to reject in order to get to this 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 time of celebration here some of you you have a person that is um in your life currently or coming into your life they are going to try to present you with something for sure and that they think it's going to look good or seem good but it's not for um for it, they don't have your your best intentions it's not it, it's not going to to help you um and and I, I feel like the attitude now for a lot of people is if it's not helping you it's hurting you okay I'm, I'm hearing um, Rihanna needed me. This this is someone here. They needed you. Okay. But I feel um, I'm, I'm getting like some narcissistic type of energy here where it's like someone is trying to almost gaslight you or make you feel like almost like childlike, like you need them or you're going to need them at some point. And it's like, no, you're not. The wheel of fortune is here and you're the temperance angel. You have angels around you. You're an alchemist. You you know how to strategize. You know how to shape shift. You can go and talk to anyone. You can be thrown to the wheel to the wolves and always come back leading the pack. But you have someone here. This could be someone you've known for a very long time. Okay. Some of you could be older. You have a younger person that is trying to um sort of like be in this shape shifting energy with you. Someone is testing you. They're trying to figure out how far can they go with you. And I, I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to hold back especially hold back like your time, your effort and your resources and block something off here because someone is going to try and get everything that they can out of you. Okay. When it comes to your stability, your security, um, your energy and, and everything in between, because you're golden right now, you have golden opportunities. You have that Midas touch. So just be mindful of that. Yeah. The nine of cups here. I feel like you're going into a time of there being, yeah, Everything is moving forward here. A lot of wish fulfillment here. All right. The two of cups, this could be, um, you know, business partnerships, relationships. This could be an improvement with people within your, your family. Okay. You could be traveling. Okay. You could meet someone while you're traveling or you did meet someone while you were traveling. Um, of, of course, a lot of people because of the holidays have gone out of town. You definitely could meet someone and it could be, like I said, an opportunity to do business. It could be a good friendship that forms from this. Maybe you're meeting someone that from now on you'll start to travel with this person, but you're moving into a time where you're letting go of all of the heartache, the pain, the interference 
interference. There's something here that interferes in your life constantly. And I feel like you're needing to really take action right now. Um, I'm seeing this page once, but I'm seeing like striking a match. Like you need to strike the match here and put up like burn something, put it into it. Okay. Because here it's like you already accomplished something. Yeah. You have to let yourself out of this mental entrapment or imprisonment. Like you, you're going to have to leave the nest, get out of whatever this cage is here, because there's definitely, what, what is this three of swords? There's something here that I feel like each time you give to it, you find yourself heartbroken. You find yourself disappointed with whatever this is. Again, I, I have to mention Mercury retrograde is here. So this is an energy. It doesn't have to be just one person. This is an energy that is going to present itself to you again. So you could be someone who deals with, um, you know, codependency or a fear of abandonment or rejection, or maybe you overcompensate in situations. There are going to be situations that are going to present themselves to you and spirit is going to test you now to see how do you handle it. So you may find, um, and especially like if you're an empath, you're going to find a lot of those narcissistic people that are going to come to you and they want you to give, 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 but they're emotionally unavailable. They're detached. Their heart isn't open. You know, whatever you give to them, they will never give it to you. Okay, you need to make it a point to hold back because the energy vampires, I'm telling you, they're out and they run out of, of energy. So now they're, they're about to try to jump onto your bandwagon so that they can hopefully get to this next cycle, which is a cycle for you that's supposed to be very, very beautiful, very positive. Okay, you need to conserve all of your energy for yourself. And a lot of people, they're not going to like it, but who cares? Yeah, see? Someone here is passionately coming towards you. For some of you, someone is passionately coming towards you to offer you happiness. A very stable, secure, submit, um, committed type of relationship. Okay. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. But of course, whenever you have really good things coming, you always have to make sure that you are in protection mode. You have to stand up for what you believe, stand up for what you truly want. Um, make sure that your, your boundaries and your expectations are are in alignment with what it is that you truly want because this knight of wands is coming in and it is a very childlike passionate um type of energy i feel like for some of you you're actually tapping into this energy yourself which is really good it's like you're becoming enlightened about a situation here that could have caused you some type of like three of swords energy some type of heartbreak or pain some type of emotional wounding here you're accepting this situation for what it is or you need to here all right also there could be a breakup a, a very significant breakup that happens with someone this could be with you or someone you know someone could just be telling you that they ended a situation with another person someone is eager somebody really wants to have a, a happy life with you but you also have people who are, are disappointed that they don't have a happy life with you. I'm picking up just honestly a lot of jealousy and envy that's coming up around the energy right now. Okay. Um, and this is due to the fact that a lot of people who perhaps had you in this four of pentacles who were trying to purposely hold you back and block you from having equal give and take. The tower has come in. Divine intervention has happened and your energy has been cleansed and purified. You have this peace, balance, and harmony, and a lot of people are in awe as to, like, how did this happen? They, they're very confused. Like, how? How did how did you get out of this, this cage that they tried to trap you in? They don't understand. How are things still going your way? Because you're quickly going towards the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups is here. But right in between is the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. So there's a karmic energy right here that is standing right in front of your ultimate wish fulfillment what is this page of wands knight of wands energy this is something though that if you're not careful it could definitely um call, yeah stress fear and anxiety somebody here is so sh like stressed out about your prosperity and your abundance this has been coming out in all of the readings all three of these cards came out and I specifically asked about this page of wands knight of wands with the three of swords because it's standing in between the two of cups and the the Ten of Cups. So 
you have someone here who is possibly very greedy who is projecting onto you because this person is heartbroken this person is looking for an opportunity to have some kind of wish fulfillment either with you or they want to have what you have okay for all of you this isn't someone who wants to be with you for some of you this is an outsider who wants to have what you have okay and obviously <laughs> you're gaining some type of major level up some type of abundance here and it has someone very stressed out because someone is probably coming to the realization now that whatever their tricks or tactics are to try and emotionally manipulate you or love bomb you gaslight you or whatever it's not actually working because you're you're moving forward someone someone sees you fully in your power and they're very stressed out because they're like dang you know whatever they tried to hold back or whatever you were giving them before, you're not giving it to them anymore. And you know how people do new year, new, new you. This is a situation where you probably have kind of gone back and forth with somebody. This is a, this is like nail in the coffin. You're like, no, I'll never give to you again. I'll, I'll never be that person. And somebody, they know that somebody knows that it's over because I just keep hearing Rihanna. Like you needed me. You didn't need this person. They needed you. But they're constantly trying to spin it like you need them. It's like, are you serious? <laughs> they're feeding off of your energy. They're feeding off of your ideas. You know? Mm -mm. Yeah, the magician here. You're manifesting. You're manifesting a brand new beginning where there is nothing but passion, happiness, victory, success, rewards, recognition. You've overcome all of these spiritual battles. There will always be battles, but whatever this battle is that constantly presents itself to you, the wheel is now turning where you get to have everything that you want. You're receiving now um, the confirmation, like I said, the rewards and the recognition for fighting such a hard battle here. And you were victorious. And it's like the gate is closing on the people who didn't want to come on this journey with you. They can't come now. They can't. It's not even an option anymore. Somebody is just a day late and, and, and $2 short. Yeah, look, you're moving on to a much higher frequency in your, in your life. You're completely leveling up. You're going towards something that is more in alignment with your goals, your morals, your values. If, it, if it's not something that's in alignment with, with you, like you're leaving it completely behind. And someone, like I said, someone is very much aware of this. Someone also is very intimidated because your success, your abundance, the lifestyle that you have or that you're about to have, someone knows that they don't have enough to offer. The page of cups, they're coming up like you've already graduated from this. So whatever this offer is, it's just not, um, it's not sufficient. This is an insufficient offer that someone is giving you because you've just leveled up like th there's. It just doesn't mesh. It doesn't fit. And somebody knows that. So for a lot of you, you have a person either in your life, they're trying to um, kind of knock you down a few notches so that you will accept whatever it is that they're offering or you have someone that's trying to come back into your life, someone who was constantly juggling you. They didn't want to invest in you. Well, now they're seeing that all of the abundance is with you. The anointing is over you and it's in you. So they want they want to reap all of the benefits and the rewards of being with you. But as I always say, they lack understanding and they they, they don't have the actual like like I said, people, they they like the idea of being with the queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. The person who, you know, can get things done, you're you're self-sufficient, you're abundant. You, you, maybe you're a business owner or you're someone that is, you know, very, very important to your family or you're really responsible, wise, whatever. But this person, they don't know how to leave things behind to actually level up to be with you. This person, somebody here does not know how to match you. They can't match you. And, and, and they're down bad right now because I feel like in the past it they were giving the illusion that they could match you and it's because they were feeding off of your energy and maybe you didn't know that now that you come into the awareness that this person was manipulating you feeding off of your energy whether this is a friend family member colleague or whomever if for some of you it's all of the above you're cutting off your energy to these people and now they don't know what to do they can't survive i talked about this a few weeks ago about these parasitic type of people when they they can't feed off of you now now they're dropping off like flies they don't know what to do 
Now they want to come in and apologize. And it's like, you can apologize, but it doesn't matter. You can make the offer, but it doesn't matter. Some of you need to be careful too with people for sure that page of cups trying to love bomb you. You know, oh wow, look at <laughs> Just as I said, love bomb the ace of wands. Okay, be careful with people trying to come in and offer you a lot of passion. Okay, this is love bombing. The people who all of a sudden they want to call, they want to text, they want to hang out. You know, they, they want to treat you like they never treated you before. This is because they already know they want this fortune that you have. They want this fortune, but they don't want to give anything. And their heart truly isn't open. This is a this is a, a narc alert. Be be mindful. Okay. This is for some of you, someone too. They're very much caught up with another person. They cannot get out of the situation with someone else or they don't want to get out of it. I don't believe in you can't get out of something. Everything is a choice. Someone they won't make the they won't decide to leave their other options behind. They're hung up with this Queen of Wands person. But they want to be with the Queen of Pentacles because, like I said, the blessing and the anointing is over your life and it's in you. So, yeah, be careful with this. This is very clear. Somebody wants to come in and passionately try to love bomb you and play, play around with you because, <clears throat> yeah, look, they know that you're emotional. They know that you're intuitive. They know that you are an empath. Okay. Somebody is going to try to play on any type of codependency that you may have. This is someone from your past for some of you, or this is a past life, um, like a past life karmic situation that you need to rid yourself of in order for you to have this ace of pentacles for once in the middle of it. As you can see, just like in the middle of the two of cups and the ten of cups, we have the three of swords. In the middle of your foundation and your security and this big blessing is this Ten of Wands. Something here has to be blocked. And this is an energy. Some of you, you're fighting up against like an, an actual entity of some sort. And it has a lot to do with you being an empath. Okay. See, an empath can feel the emotions of other people. So when you encounter these ego-driven, narcissistic people, you feel bad for them because you you wish that they would be able to love and heal and, and it, you know, accept love and, and be normal but they can't they're incapable of loving they're incapable of doing that so you will always give and give and give and they won't give you anything back you're coming to the realization for a lot of you that you've been like this since you were a child you were born an empath you were born as that golden child so you have these abilities to heal people but spirit is saying in this season you need to heal those people who are on the same path as you. Don't try to keep on healing the heart of someone that probably doesn't even have a heart anymore. Some of these people, you got, they're just, they don't have a heart. They're completely heartless. And there's no amount of love that's going to change them. <clears throat> so someone here is going to really try to play on, you know, the past and, oh, you remember how it was when we grew up or, you know, this is the family. Remember when I did this or I did that for you? And it's like, it doesn't matter. Everyone is in the present right now. You're going into 2023 where, like I said, a lot of people who've been riding around in a chariot on magic, the chariot is about to turn into a pumpkin and everybody is, is afraid now. Five of Wands. Yeah, this is causing a lot of chaos and conflict for people. You need, look at that. You need to rest and retreat because what's coming in for you is a chariot that's going to take you exactly to where you want to go. But also for these people, what I say, they know that their chariot is running out of all steam and power. These people, the chariot is here with the five of pentacles. These people now, what are they doing? They're running scared, high, broke, disgusted, busted, and they want to hop on the chariot with you because they see your manifestations coming in. You turned your back to them. Your manifestations are coming in. Now they, they're sick. They're broke. They're scared. They don't know what to do. So they lay awake all night meditating and contemplating on how can they, they, they bandwagon jump, right? This is an opportunity, an opportunist that's going to try to use love and emotions to connect to you. Yeah. They're looking at what type of partnerships you have developing in your life. Three of pentacles. And they would like for the decision for you to work with them, but you're needing to call you know, make a, a judgment call in this situation with the justice here and end this. These people also are receiving a lot of karma for working against you. Some, A lot of these people in your lives, honestly, you'll be surprised at how many people they've teamed up with to try and cause illusions in your life. Now, like I said, now when the clock strikes 12 and their chariot stops, they're very, very, they're, they're going to be out naked and afraid.
But this is the result of you using chaos, magic, illusions, lying. Somebody here has had their hand in a little bit of everything. And everything that they've had their hand in, they've gotten burned by it. You're the saving grace. Now somebody is watching you. Yeah. The illusions are over, though. If somebody had you under some type of spell or illusion, you're healing from that. You're completely healing with the star and the three of cups. You're going towards your destiny now. And we have here the star and the moon, the death card. Once again, these majors are coming out in threes. Okay. These are life altering changes that are, are happening for you. But you have to be in this queen of swords energy of keeping your guard up. Do not allow anyone to have you stuck at a crossroads here because this is their plan. This is a scheme and scam that someone has been working on for a long time. And it is to have you trapped. Someone wants to get you in your head or um, possibly in the bed so that they can control what you do. This is someone that you probably have rejected or you need to reject. King of Pentacles, the High Priestess and the Empress and the King of Cups. Some of you, you have multiple people in your energy right now. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. Some of you, you have multiple lovers that are trying to get into your energy. Why? Because look, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups here in the middle is the High Priestess and the Empress. You're embodying both of these. Again, going back to the Temperance energy. You're shape-shifting for a lot of you divine feminists. You guys, you are growing. You're evolving. You're both the Empress and the High Priestess. Like I said, the anointing is in you and it's and it's around you too. You're very fertile. You can produce. You're abundant. But you also have a connection to the spiritual realm that most people don't. You know things before they happen. So now you have a king of cups and a king of pentacles. They both want to come towards you. But some of you, you may decide to walk away from both of these energies. Somebody here wants to use emotional manipulation and somebody here wants to use money to manipulate you. There's a lot of manipulation here. Yeah, and it's coming in quickly. And Spirit is saying as quickly as it comes in, you need to cut it off. See the truth about this situation here. You've already gone within and noticed that something here isn't right. And what's actually coming in is a true divine masculine for you, an emperor, someone who is structured. They're about their business. They can actually match your energy. So for some of you, yeah, you have more than one person in your energy and you don't need to deal with either one of them. It would be best for you to actually wait on the spiritual union and connection with your actual divine counterpart. Because you have one person that to connect to you and your abundance, they're going to use money. Another person is going to try to use manipulation, emotional manipulation and charm. That's not you. You don't need either one of those. You're the queen of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, you absolutely need an, an Emperor. Nothing else will do. Yeah, the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, somebody is coming in. They do not want to accept defeat here. So I'm, this is a karmic person, a very karmic, toxic person and cycle here. And you're going to have to stand ten toes down in this Nine of Wands energy. This is something that has wounded you plenty of times. Keep in mind, you guys, this is energy. It's not just a person. This is for some of you. This is um, this is a mindset that you may have that you're needing to fight against. If you're afraid of being alone, if you're afraid of being single or whatever it is that allows these types of energies to come into your life, you're going to really have to cleanse your own soul and purge that fear of abandonment or rejection out. So that you're no longer a vibrational match. Th these energies, like I said, they're feeding off of you. And it has become harder because you are elevating. But there's still a little bit of something that's left there that these people are trying to connect to. These narcissistic people. And it's your light. You're going to always attract these type of people. Okay. But you just have to recognize it when it comes. This is why you have to be in this energy of, of like that sh this shapeshifter. You can be very loving, caring, kind, and, and sweet, and the divine feminine, but you also have to know that there is a darker side to things. And you're going to have to learn to really trust your own intuition. This is going to require a lot of strength and courage on your part. Because there are some people out here, you guys, they don't, they don't have good intentions for you. They don't. And a lot of these lovers who are trying to come back around you or people, they want to do business with you. This is because they all see you on the rise. They see 
the come up. They see the level up and they're, they're I'm telling you, they're bandwagon jumping. These people know that when that clock strikes 12, it's over for them. A lot of them. They already know. Yeah, renewal is here. And seven of pentacles. You know, look at the past. Review it with, with forgiveness and be compassionate. You know, listen, favor isn't fair. Allow God to give people grace and mercy. You don't have to worry about this at all because it's really not your battle. You just have to be accepting of your new life and let let go. Let go and let God. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. This is what I keep seeing. Again, there's a windfall of abundance here. But you receive this abundance when you're at a frequency where you are doing things that you know are for the, the, the greater good of you, your life. You know what I'm saying? Like this good fortune, um, it'll pass you by if you're not in the energy to receive it. Okay. The eight of wands speaks of, of course, travel, communication, fast moving energy. There is also when, when you have travel and fast moving energy and communication, there also can be chaos. And I feel like you need to be beware of the rapid changes that can actually come from you trying to juggle too many things or too many different people or energies around you. Some of you may be feeling like you sort of want to isolate yourself right now. That may not be a bad thing because the four of wands is here. Your found that four of wands, ace of pentacles, this has a lot to do with your foundation. Like the structure of your life, you have to get organized. You have to, you know, spend time for some of you. You need to spend some time with your family. Some of you, you need to really try to make a connection with your angels, your guides, your passed on loved ones, and really put out in the universe what it is that you're trying to manifest. And this is why you have to be very mindful of people entering your life and your space that bring chaos. Because like I always tell you, if you don't have that peace of mind, it's almost impossible for you to manifest. You don't know. You, you can hardly even think about what you want or imagine it. Right. So just be careful. It's some, you know, you have some snakes in your grass for sure. And I feel like they're getting closer and closer and closer to the door. Waiting on a perfect opportunity to, to slither on in. So just be careful. It's just a warning. The wheel. Yeah, I told you. There's another card that flipped over. The wheel here. Yeah, this is a new start, though. There's no more delays here. And somebody here is so str I'm telling you guys, somebody is so stressed out. Somebody knows. I don't know why I keep hearing when the, when the clock strikes 12. It's somebody here, um, especially if a person has been using, like, your natal chart to look into your life or something because the wheel usually to me i think about the natal chart yeah um some of you're gonna have to make a choice here about some type of love connection where there's been a lot of confusion or someone they wouldn't make a, a choice between you and someone else or you had a difficult time making a choice between them and someone this wheel here is a lot of positive changes are happening for you but Obviously, a new start means that there is an end to something. Somebody already knows that time here is running out, okay? Somebody already knows, too, if, if they've been doing spell work or anything like that. It's, it's something here is about time. If you're still alive and well, kicking and strong, they already know that when that clock strikes 12, going into this new year for a lot of you, that... They're about to experience like a, a really bad, I guess, like cycle of bad luck. Because of what they've done, somebody here can't even sleep at night. They don't know what to do. Like they, they can't sleep. They don't know what to do because they're like, oh, wait a minute. If you if you it's like if you come into some type of blessing, rewards or recognition, it shuts everything down that they've been working for. So this is someone here who has been pretty much like hoping like i said like cinderella this is someone who thought that if they had the slipper that it was going to make make them a winner but the slipper it doesn't fit you know what i'm saying like something is just for you and it's the ten of pentacles this is just for you somebody thought that they were really going to steal this awakening here and the nine of wands yeah you have had to awaken to the fact that you have a thief around you You, you have to take some time out to realize that um, 
something here about a situation isn't right. And I feel like you're going through this awakening and you're you're now realizing that you really have to protect whatever you've already created or what's coming in for you. You can't give up the nine of wands as being the wounded warrior. Like giving up isn't an option, but you have to fight very hard for this ten of pentacles. And you have someone that's right there around you that's trying to sneak right in and try to take that from you. And the, here's the five of cups. This didn't turn out the way somebody wanted. Somebody has been watching you, stalking you, spying, hacking, doing everything that they could. They're studying you however that they can, trying to gather information, okay? And they're realizing that, wow, okay, this isn't turning out the way that they thought. This person has been watching. Somebody here has been watching, hoping for some type of downfall for you. But the wheel is actually turning. Something here has completely backfired. The wheel is turning and it's going towards the Ten of Pentacles for you. So you're about to receive everything that was yours. You're about to receive everything that they took. And, and whatever they had left, you're going to get there too. Because <laughs> I feel like whoever did this, they actually have a lot to lose. They have a lot to lose. That's why this person is so stressed out. Somebody here knows that something is going to backfire really bad. And it's, it has something to do with timing. I don't know what kind of contract this is. This could have something to do with the planetary shifts or or something. But somebody knows like if this person can can outlive this or, or do certain things, then they know. It's like your your new year is doomsday for them. Yeah. Knight of Cups. And the Hermit. Hmm. And the Empress. Interesting. Somebody here could be coming towards you. No, I feel like this is a new person. I was going to say somebody is coming towards you from who's been out in the cold. We already know about that energy, but you have a Knight of Cups here and the Hermit. I feel like you have a Knight of Cups person, someone that's coming into your life who's also very spiritual of, as like you. Somebody who has been on a spiritual journey as the Hermit. They're going towards the Empress. This Knight of Cups is. This may be like a sudden love affair. Let me see. Let me, let me know. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Yeah, see, perfect. Man, I love that. Nine of The nine of cups with the nine of pentacles and the six of wands here. So you have a person coming towards you, divine feminine, who has also been on a, a spiritual journey. They've been in hermit mode, possibly isolation like you, and they've had a level up. There's, there's, they're single, they're self-sufficient, they're abundant. They are the nine of pentacles before you are the nine of pentacles. The only thing that you and this person are missing is a partnership. But this person has been on, you know, the wheel like you, on, on some type of karmic wheel just like you. And now I feel like this person, they're going into a cycle of victory and success just like you. So you're about to meet your match. 100%. This person is someone who has made wise choices in life because they went through some type of awakening. They see the error in their ways. They are eliminating the karmic situations from their life, just like you're doing. This is someone who is a magician like you, and they're manifesting victory and success by taking a leap of faith. So you probably want to take a leap of faith with whoever this person is. But this for a lot of you is a brand new person or this is a new energy it could be someone from the past, but you're not going to recognize this energy won't be familiar to you because it's very healthy. Look at that. The freaking emperor. Yeah. There it is. The emperor and the empress. So what you're going to get from this is a ten of pentacles. So a lot of you, you're coming into great financial abundance, but you're receiving an actual life partner, a divine counterpart. This person is 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 organized. They're going to come in and, and add something to you. They see your value, but they're going to add something. This is not somebody that wants to come in and feed off of you or take from you. Okay. Man, oh, this person here. I don't know what it is about this energy. Yes, it's a strong energy. Look at the strength card. I mean, I feel this energy all over me. Like whoever this Knight of Cups is, they, they mean business. This is a strong energy. I've been feeling energy so much, um, a lot stronger lately. This is a really, really, really strong energy. I mean, you can't deny this energy. You won't miss this energy. This is definitely the take charge alpha 
male or female for some, I'm getting more so male. This person, they they get what they want because this person is someone who is extremely self-aware. They're very, very determined. This person has probably, I just heard, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon. They didn't grow up with a silver spoon, but they're determined to live like a, a king now. This person is not playing games. This person is going to, for sure, um, play a major role in you having more financial security and stability for yourself. This person could be a little bit traditional in a way. They, this person takes pride in family. They're an, a real emperor. But I feel like this person, they've learned a lot about life through a lot of hard knocks. This person comes from the school of hard knocks. Like This is a, a hustler and they've had to go within and gone through like an awakening just like you. You may not know this person or you haven't been in contact with this person. If you know this person, this is someone who you may have known from like nine or ten years ago. It's been a long time. And the both of you have been on some type of karmic wheel or cycle where you've had to grow and learn, whether it's someone you know or a brand new person. This could be someone that's entering your life and I'm telling you, you're gonna talk to, I'm seeing where for some of you, you may talk to this person for like five or six hours straight the first time that you talk and you're like, wow, we're just like, you've gone through a lot of similar things. Nothing is the same, but it's very similar. Their energy matches yours. The emperor and the empress does not come out often together. It doesn't. And the strength card. This is a, a bond that is going to be very strong, undeniable. This person is very self-aware and assertive. It's cute though. And whenever I see the strength card and it's it's related to um here's a strength card in two different decks. You have this this masculine energy, like this beast of an energy with this lady here. I always think, you know, of course, you and someone, you, you possibly come from two different worlds. Like, you may be really sweet. Um, this person, though, they're very assertive, okay? I'm getting to this person. They may not say a whole lot, but they know plenty. This person is very, very sure of themselves. They're extremely confident. And I want you guys to, on your journey, because, and I'm, I'm sharing this with you because I had to learn this myself just on this, you know, self-love and, and learning more about self-worth and value. When you've had to deal with a lot of narcissists, narcissists, of course, are extremely egotistical and they use their ego to hide behind the fact that they're very insecure. When you have been conditioned to, to see People who are very confident, who seem egotistical, you automatically assume. So what I'm trying to say is people who are confident are not always cocky. And I know people say that all the time. But when you've dealt with a lot of narcissistic people, it's very easy for you to misjudge or misinterpret a very self-aware, powerful person who is confident as being narcissistic. When I say something about this strength card here just keeps jumping out at me some of you are going to meet a a masculine energy that is very 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 sure of themselves they're not going to play games with you if you don't do what is going to be best for the two of you like this person they will leave you okay this person they won't stop they won't slow down okay they're not going to accept disrespect they if they've gone through an awakening they expect for you to have gone through an awakening as well this is a healed person OK, so if you decide that you want to be the crybaby person with them because of the type of structure and the discipline that they have in their life, they're not going to deal with it. And a lot of people, if you're still struggling with like self-worth and codependency, you will say, oh, that person is narcissistic. No, this person is certain of themselves. See, a narcissist will portray themselves like they're confident. This is true confidence. But again, they look the same. This is why you have to be very discerning. A narcissist tries to act confident to hide the fact that they're actually, they have no self-worth, no value. They don't have a heart. This is someone who is coming in that's very sure of themselves. They're assertive. They're powerful. They're organized. They, they make moves that are very logical. They're very take charge. They're structured. They're disciplined. This is someone that an empress can trust to lead. 
because this person look at in the picture they hold a lot of power if you see a lion in the jungle the lion in his pride he protects all of the 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 female lions but typically the female lions and the little lion cubs they sort of you know cater to this this lion and for some of you this is going to be the proper balance of feminine and masculine energy a lot of women now you know we're quick to say oh i won't submit to a person and i'm not saying that you need to be submissive but i'm saying that you have a person that's going to enter your life soon for some of you if they're not already in your life that you're going to be comfortable with letting them take the lead on things because they're not fickle they're not sitting around doing spell work on you and playing games and waiting on you to fall because they don't have anything to offer you <laughs> because you guys you have people in your energy who can't control you so they're doing things in the background to try and stop or block you so that they can knock you down a few notches you have somebody coming into you like they're gonna build you up because they're like well you can't be you you can't be bottom of the barrel and be on my level this is someone they're not going to deal with you if you're not on a certain level spiritually I feel like this person is going to care a lot about health, wellness, wealth. Like they're, they're just serious. Like this person is just on point. I mean, this energy has taken over this entire reading. This person is coming in, like letting you know I'm here. And when they get there, they're not going away. If, if this person leaves, it's because you definitely push them away. And this could be you and so, and, and you may be in this energy. Okay. But this person is someone here. The seven of swords is here and the four of the seven of swords and the four of swords. This person will quickly retreat. This could be your energy. Some of you could be in this more masculine energy. OK, because I don't want to make the reading like, oh, you're not ready for this type of person. This could be you or this this person. But sometimes when you have more healing to do when these types of energies come towards you, it's a little hard for you to accept them. So I just want to put that out there for people who are still you know narcissistic abuse is hard to get over <clears throat> but this seven of swords here with the four of swords i feel that a lot of you you have gone through things where you've lost that peace of mind you're very cautious about people this person is going to come into your life and let you know through how they act and what they show you that you don't have to be super cautious with them because they can handle it and they can handle you too this is someone who understands that, oh, they may have to love you with a broken heart. They, they understand, although they may be more logical, they have the sense in the mind to know like, okay, maybe you need a little bit more time. You know, like they can work with you. This person understands compromise. They understand conflict resolution. For a lot of this is a business person. And I feel, honestly, I feel like they treat relationships almost like business. They're very knowledgeable about things. <clears throat> especially conflict resolution i feel like this person is someone like i said they've been on a spiritual journey some type of awakening i'm seeing for some of you this person is the kind of person like they they go to retreats or they they pray and meditate a lot this person is very serious about their spiritual practices and hygiene you know they could be religious this could be someone who is for sure like a church goer okay nothing wrong with that but this person they take like their peace of mind very serious like and they're they're looking for an, an empress that's going to give them peace so for the divine feminines if you're still dealing with these karmic energies from these karmic masculines that are trying to come into your energetic field you need to be careful because your true counterpart they're not going to be able to connect with you if your energy is chaotic. So if you have friends, family members, exes, or whomever, people right now that just, honestly, they get on your nerves, you need to eliminate that because your energy needs to be very calm and peaceful. This is a good, get, get the proper rest, drink your water, you know, like the three of swords is here. Yeah, the three of swords, there was a seven of swords, the four of swords, yeah. There's work that has to be done. This is someone, Eight of Pentacles, they want to come in and build. This person is going to try to learn everything that they can learn about you because that's how, that's how they handle everything in their life. This is the kind of person that they study things. But I'm telling you, it's going to be very confusing to you because 
just like, you know, narcissists will study you closely as well, right? A narcissist will study everything because their plan is to study you and learn you and manipulate you. This is someone that's studying you, studying you because they need to know the, the proper way and the best way to invest in you in this connection. So this, this is a, a big karmic test for a lot of people. And now I'm seeing when I had the other tarot deck out before I saw the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. For some of you, you have more than one karmic person coming back trying to get into your energy right now. But for some of you, no, I, I'm going to stick with my first mind. I feel like this emperor is somebody that a lot of you, you haven't met or they're not quite, their energy is going to be unfamiliar. It's going to be different from anything else because it's not toxic. It's just not. This person works very, very hard. This is the type of person they work so hard, you know, for a sure fact, you know, they're not doing spell work. When, when would they have time to do it? You know, <laughs> I mean, they could have a very powerful mind, but this person, they understand karma. They understand life. I feel like this person has seen a lot. They've been through a lot. All they want now is peace and a lot of prosperity and abundance. That's what they come to. The, this person does not come to your table empty handed transformation. And then the Ace of Cups. Your love life is about to completely transform and change. Completely. So you have to break free of your old belief systems, the toxic partners, friends, the family member. Like you have to make space for this, this big, big energy that's trying to come into your life now. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's time to get to work. Page of Pentacles is starting something new. It's starting a project. You know, it's um, learning something new. In order to learn something new, which is to learn how to love and be loved again, you're going to have to drop this Ten of Wands type of energy. Anything that causes stress, fear, anxiety. You're also going to have to learn how to accept help. This person, for some of you, they're just as spiritually inclined as you. They're going to be able to tell you things sometimes that may be triggering and you're going to have to learn how to listen. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out on a magical opportunity for yourself. And this this explains why these karmic energies are trying so hard to get at you now, because it's like Cinderella. You're being chosen. You're being chosen. So in Cinderella, you know, it was her sisters. Some of you, this could be your sisters, cousins, friends, parents, step parents or whomever. These are just energies, though, and they're really, really trying to beat you down so that you don't really feel like you are worthy. But as I said earlier, the anointing is over your life and it's within you. It doesn't matter about what you look like, dress like or anything. That slipper that falls off of the, the, the foot of Cinderella, that, that king, that prince is only looking for the person they can wear their slipper. Nobody has the anointing or the destiny, the power, the protection that you have. That is your superpower. You simply being who you are and you need to stand firmly in that and know that there is someone that is going to match you. So when it comes to these people who are in your energy now and they want to take from you, you're not meant. To, a lot of you need to understand you are not meant to live a life where you struggle. You're not meant to live a life where you can't be feminine, where you have to be a distorted feminine energy. You're meant to receive a lot. And some of you are actually meant to receive a lot from your divine masculine, whoever that person is. You're meant to be well taken care of. Like I said before, a lot of people have come from hard knocks, but you're supposed to live the life of someone who is royal. And, and that's going to look many different ways to many different people. But you're not supposed to be out here suffering and struggling. You're not. And I feel like it's about to become very clear to you. Yeah, look, you see two queens here. Of course, they're both on the throne. You see a queen of cups and a queen of swords. And then here you have a knight of the lovers. The lover speaks of a choice. Like I said, somebody is recognizing that the anointing is over your life and it's in you. It doesn't matter who else tries to put their slipper on. There's only one Cinderella. Cinderella became poor because of circumstances and conditions. It didn't change the fact that Cinderella was, was beautiful inside and out. That's, how, that's the reason why she was chosen and she went from rags to riches. 
she was, no matter what she looked like, she was a match for a prince. Somebody is coming into your life who sees that, look, this lady here is in a wheelchair. No matter what you've gone through, you're still worthy of having a beautiful life. And you're receiving that because although you've been handicapped, although you've been disabled in situations, although people have beat you down and tried to destroy you, you still were giving to other people. When you give to other people, when you don't have it to give, that's pure love. That's nothing but light. While these other people were in the five of swords, they were making unwise choices. They didn't have any integrity. They just wanted to win. So now you have a person that's coming into your life, they're focused, they're driven, they're determined, and they're choosing you. Three of one, look at this, y'all. <laughs> the three of wands, the cherry, what did I say? When the, when the clock strikes 12, and then here we have it, the ace of pentacles. This is your blessing. And the, look, the sun, the three of cups, the star, the six of cups. And the seven of wands this is protected this is a, a like a past life connection for a lot of you this is your actual counterpart they're coming into your life you've been planning for the long like so this is someone too like i said they've been on a journey someone has been planning their life and they've just been waiting on the perfect person two of cups and the sun they've been waiting on the perfect person to be in a connection with to have a family with whether you're having children with this person starting a business or you're blending families someone has been waiting on the person this prince has been waiting on cinderella the whole time like everything this person has been molding themselves and their life for their counterpart and i feel like a lot of you that's you or you're this masculine and you know exactly what you're looking for just again, my, my final message to you guys is make sure that you're not you're not confusing someone who is assertive and ambitious with someone who is narcissistic. A lot of people, our old belief systems and the outdated thinking, we're taught, you know, all oh, the money, money is the root of all evil. Or if someone has money, you know, they're automatically evil. No, that's not true. You have some people who have an empire state of mind. They understand legacy building. But when you go out and you don't have boundaries and you grow up dealing with neglect, rejection and abandonment, you go from connection to connection with narcissists and narcissists. They're, they're fake and they're phony. And so then your mind doesn't recognize the difference between a, a fake and phony narc who's really extremely insecure and a real alpha man or woman who is assertive and ambitious and in control of their life because they do look the same. And typically you don't realize that you're with the narc until it's, a, it's down the line and the mask comes off. But you guys are going to have to realize that God is actually bringing people in now that you don't have to second guess. You've already been through your cycle of dealing with the narc. So when you meet somebody now, there will be people who will test you, but be discerning. But you do have people who are coming in and they're actual divine beings like you. And if you find yourself being being triggered by someone who is assertive and ambitious, they may be triggering a part of yourself that's not quite ready for that, which is why you need to go within and heal. This is, you know, th these readings sometimes can be tri triggering, but the truth is, is, you know, we talk a lot about, um, you know, the men who don't do right by women, but sometimes there's good men who approach women and because of the past and what you've gone through you kind of fumble the bag because you look at people like all men are the same and they're not seven of wands don't 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 you know guard your heart so much when you truly heal you don't have to walk around with a, a cage around your heart because you're not afraid of love you can never go and expect to, to be loved fully by any person if you're afraid of it. You're going to push it away. It's, it's like a repellent. So you have to stop giving these karmic energies your power because they only come in to make you think that you need to be afraid of love. And that's not the case. 
Love can't get to you because of your fear. But you have the fear because you keep giving access to people that you can't trust. Okay? So, I really hope, you know, that this kind of gave you a little bit of insight today about what's coming towards you. Or maybe it gave you a confirmation. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys, you have a Cinderella story. All right? Um, there are some really big blessings that are coming for you. And for some of you, it's definitely coming in the forms of a lot of abundance as well as a partner. 